In 1977 Voyager 1 and 2 launched on a grand tour of the outer solar system. They revealed Jupiter's storms, Saturn's rings, Uranus's tilt, and Neptune's winds, transforming our view of the cosmos. Each carried the golden record, a message from Earth for any who might find it. Now they travel through interstellar space still sending data, our first scouts beyond the solar system. The adventure it turns out, is just beginning. To understand Voyager's latest discovery you need to know where it is. Our sun constantly blows a stream of charged particles, the solar wind, out in all directions creating a vast magnetic bubble called the heliosphere. This bubble protects everything inside it including us from the harshness of the galaxy. The heliosphere stretches far beyond Pluto but it doesn't go on forever. Outside the interstellar medium, thin gas, dust and cosmic rays pushes back. The boundary where the solar wind can't push any further is called the heliopause, the true edge of our solar system. Before Voyager, scientists pictured this boundary as a gentle, gradual transition. They imagined the solar wind would slowly fade, mixing peacefully with the interstellar medium. But the universe is rarely so tidy. Voyager's mission was to test these ideas, measuring the solar wind's speed, density and the magnetic field as it traveled outward. Scientists watched for signs, the solar wind slowing, the magnetic field shifting, and a rise in galactic cosmic rays. The Voyagers were our scouts, sent to touch the edge and report back. What they found would upend our understanding of the solar system's boundary. The edge wasn't a quiet crossing, it was something far stranger. The data revealed a dramatic, unexpected frontier. The heliopause turned out to be a dynamic, energetic region, not a gentle border. Voyager's journey showed us that the edge of our solar system is a place of cosmic drama. It's not just a line in space, it's a battleground between our sun and the galaxy. The discoveries made here are reshaping how we see our place in the universe. The Voyagers have shown us that the edge is just the beginning of a much bigger story. The moment of truth came for Voyager 1 in August 2012, 11 billion miles from the sun. Suddenly, its instruments detected a sharp drop in solar particles and a spike in galactic cosmic rays. Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause, the first human-made object in interstellar space. Six years later, Voyager 2 crossed at a different spot, confirming the discovery. Both spacecraft found the same thing, a real distinct boundary surrounding our solar system. But there was more. As they crossed, their plasma wave system detected a persistent rising tone, a sign that plasma density was spiking. The boundary was much denser than anyone expected. It wasn't a gentle fog, it was a wall. Scientists at the University of Iowa calculated the plasma's temperature up to 50,000 Kelvin. For comparison the sun's surface is about 6,000 Kelvin. This wall at the edge of our solar system was 5 to 8 times hotter than the sun's surface. No one had predicted a superheated wall of plasma at our cosmic doorstep. The discovery was a complete shock, forcing scientists to rethink everything about the solar system's edge. The heliopause wasn't just a boundary, it was a fiery, energetic frontier. Voyager's data revealed a cosmic wall, hotter and denser than anyone imagined. This changed our understanding of how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. The edge of our solar system is not a quiet place, it's a zone of intense unexpected activity. Voyager's crossing marked a new era in our exploration of the cosmos. 50,000 Kelvin sounds scorching. But in space, temperature and heat aren't the same. The plasma at the heliopause is incredibly thin, few particles but each moving at extreme speeds. You wouldn't feel heat there, you'd freeze instantly. The discovery of this superheated plasma upends our view of the heliopause. We thought it was a peaceful meeting of solar and interstellar winds. Instead, it's a violent energetic collision, possibly a shock wave or magnetic reconnection, where magnetic fields snap and release energy. This means the boundary is active, not passive, a place where fundamental physics plays out on a massive scale. Our solar system's edge is more like a turbulent waterfall than a gentle shoreline. Understanding this region is key to learning how stellar systems interact with their galactic environments. Voyager's discovery turns our solar system into a laboratory for studying these cosmic processes up close. We're not just guessing about distant stars, we're measuring the edge of our own system directly. This forces scientists to rethink how the heliosphere holds its shape. The puzzle of the 50,000 Kelvin wall is now at the heart of astrophysics. Voyager handed us the clues, now it's up to us to solve the mystery. 
How does a 1970s spacecraft, billions of miles away, measure the temperature of invisible plasma? The answer, the Plasma Wave System, or PWS. Instead of a camera, Voyager has two long antennas that listen for plasma oscillations, electric field waves created by moving charged particles. As Voyager neared the heliopause, the PWS detected a rising tone, the hum of dense plasma at the boundary. The frequency of these waves reveals the plasma's density, higher frequency, higher density. By measuring this, scientists calculated the plasma was much denser at the boundary than inside or outside. From density they inferred temperature, using physics and data from other instruments. The 50,000 Kelvin figure comes from piecing together these clues. Voyager doesn't have a thermometer but it doesn't need one, its instruments and clever analysis do the job. This is a triumph of indirect measurement and engineering foresight. The PWS was designed for questions no one had even thought to ask. Voyager's ears have given us a new way to understand the cosmos. Why does this super hot wall matter to us? The heliopause acts as a cosmic shield, protecting us from galactic cosmic rays, high energy particles that can damage DNA and electronics. The sun's magnetic field, carried by the solar wind, deflects most of these rays. Without the heliosphere, life on Earth would face far more radiation. The discovery of a hot, dense wall suggests our shield is even stronger than we thought. This region may block or slow even more cosmic rays before they reach us. Understanding this wall is crucial for modeling how well our solar system is protected. It's not just academic, it affects the conditions for life in future space travel. As we plan missions to Mars and beyond, radiation exposure is a real concern. The heliosphere's protection changes with the sun's activity cycle. Knowing about this dynamic wall gives us a new variable to consider for astronaut safety. Voyager's discovery is vital for the future of exploration. A mysterious wall at the edge of the solar system might sound like science fiction, or even a sign of aliens. But the 50,000 Kelvin wall is pure natural physics. It's the result of our sun's plasma colliding with the galaxy's plasma, creating a boundary of compressed, heated matter. The real surprise is the form this boundary takes, hotter and denser than expected. Scientists are now modeling how this happens, exploring ideas like magnetic field pileup, reconnection, and particle acceleration. These are processes seen elsewhere in the universe but never studied so directly. Voyager's data is a scientific detective story revealing the raw power of the cosmos. It's not aliens but it's arguably more profound. We're witnessing fundamental forces at work. This discovery opens a new chapter in our understanding of the universe. There are still mysteries at our doorstep waiting to be explored. Voyager reminds us that direct exploration is the only way to uncover the unknown. The universe is its own greatest science fiction author, and Voyager is our reporter on the front lines. The Voyager spacecraft are engineering marvels from the 1970s. Their computers have a fraction of the memory of a modern smartphone, and their data rate is slower than old dial-up internet. Yet, they're still working, powered by nuclear batteries that slowly lose strength. Mission engineers have to make tough choices, shutting down instruments to conserve power. Commands take nearly a day to reach Voyager, and another day for a reply. Today's team works with ancient hardware and programming languages, keeping the mission alive against the odds. The longevity of Voyager is a tribute to the original engineers' foresight and skill. They built redundant systems and robust designs to survive the harshest environments. That we're still receiving revolutionary data after nearly 50 years is a testament to human ingenuity. Voyager's endurance is one of science's greatest achievements. It shows what's possible when we aim high and build for the long haul. The Voyagers are proof that great engineering can outlast generations. The discovery of the 50,000 Kelvin wall answered one question, but opened a dozen more. How thick is this wall? Is it uniform, or does it change with the sun's cycle? Does the shape of the heliosphere need to be reimagined in light of this energetic boundary? Now, with the Voyagers outside, we're making the first direct measurements of the interstellar medium. They're sampling the galactic magnetic field and plasma density, data that's priceless for astronomy. But the Voyagers won't last forever, their power is fading. Soon they'll fall silent, coasting through the Milky Way for millions of years. The big question, what's next? Scientists are already dreaming of a new interstellar probe to go even farther. The journey of discovery doesn't end here. Voyager's legacy is just the beginning of our exploration beyond the wall.